Uh, tell us a little about what your experience here and what you think of everything going on and uh, Sundance and well, Mark City and all that good stuff. First word that comes to mind is proud. I, I you know, I, I look at what we're doing from a standpoint of the movie industry and legacy. I really do look at the movie industry as a legacy model and funded to see the innovation and also just the support of filmmakers like Henning and being able to do something that really is the next evolution, next era of filmmaking and being able to take out you know, something that was typically expensive, time consuming, very restrictive, uh, only for a very small few and put every filmmaker in the, the arena that they are in the game. So being able to actually fund their movie, being able to get their movie distributed into an ecosystem that all is sharing and caring um, and wanting to help them get their movie out there, being able to break all those borders with uh, all the firewalls and all the restrictions and red tape that typically filmmakers are met with, and, uh, and then being able to actually monetize. I mean, the filmmakers are the content creators, but typically are the last to get paid and uh, pennies on the dollar we want to flip that model and really give the the recognition and the dollars and monetization back to the filmmakers and, uh, and make it to where not only with that, it's in an environment that's gamified. And so they can actually get that distribution out into the world, let people play along with, with them as they're building you know, the journey of filmmaking and, uh, and then also eliminating the massive disease in filmmaking, which is piracy. And how do we get rid of a lot of the piracy, get people engaged with the content creators behind the scenes, the experiences that the filmmakers can create. So for us, you know, this is super passionate about it, super passionate about doing it with Henny. And uh, here we are, are in Park City, Park City TV. And uh, this is just the beginning. Absolutely. And one of the things that, you know, just to kind of bring more of the, the technology to point home is, and something we don't talk about enough is that we're actually putting this vapor technology into the hands of filmmakers. It's something we, we, we really have to start talking about more because yes. those of you who are making yes. movies out there, uh, you cannot have enough tools to get your film out there. So we're creating this ecosystem and when you do a little research on how fast vapor and Amico are growing and how many people we're bringing on the platform and how fast, uh, we're anticipating breaking records. And, and when we break these records, we're talking about 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 million people on, on the platform. We're not just talking about a small community, we're yeah, talking about a yeah, massive yeah, community. Yeah, people. And then, like yeah, and then giving you the tools to market to that community. And everyone of the same mindset that we want to focus on, the positive, focus on films that are going to help people. There's enough. And again, we're not putting down, uh, I'm not in my personal opinion, I don't put down anybody else's art form. Every art form is valid to a certain extent. But there's enough horror movies. There are enough vampire movies. There are enough... There are enough, uh, there's enough um, violence and, and, and really negativity. Uh, you know, one of the top movies on Netflix, I won't make, make mention the name right now, 95% of the movie is 100% negative, it's bad. 5% at the end is feel good, and it's the number one movie on Netflix right now. Uh, we don't want to really play in that, in that department. We want 95% positive, 5% kind of uh, grit and action, and make sure that we're, that we're leaving a positive impact within the audience that's, that's enjoying our content. And right. can, can we do that and do well as well? Well, Oprah did it. Oprah did, focused on that and became the biggest. And that's our, our mentality. So I appreciate you so much supporting that vision. And filmmakers, those of you guys who have something worthwhile, you have good quality content, and you have a message, man, we're going to get it on our platform, and our community is going to beat it up. Well, and, and, you know, filmmakers, I, I want this message to be heard that we're not talking about you got to go learn a new technology and it's all like it's over my head. These are things that you're doing every day. You know, you're on Facebook every day, you're on social media, you're on communication apps. Everything you're doing today, it's just taking that and re, you know, realigning it with your mission, which is how do I get my story told? How do I get it distributed into the ecosystem that can help facilitate getting my message and my voice and my film heard? And then how do I monetize that and then stay in that ecosystem of helping and sharing other film yeah, apps like that? It's, it's, it's going to be fantastic. So get ready for our launch. It's coming. We're still here at, at Sundance just demoing the technology and just kind of bringing it out 
uh, to the public. Now their cat's out of the bag, the secret's out. Uh-oh. Now, now, Uh-oh. <laughs> get ready. We gotta get to work. Uh, we gotta get to work and get, get all your films onto this platform. And those of you guys who are part of our team, part of the community, our affiliates, our, our fans, our users, man, get ready. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be the ride of your life. Absolutely. <laughs> stay tuned. All right, stay tuned, guys. <laughs>